Well, call it another Trump dump. Macy's is now cutting ties with Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. That comes on the heels of NBC's move to cut off ties as well. To, Kat to Katrina Pearson, I should say, it says game on. All of this is only firing up his political numbers. Um, well, you're quite right about that. Early indications are the more controversy uh, he generates, the, the, the more it seems to be helping him. He's, he's second right now in New Hampshire, depending on what poll you're looking at. You think that will hold, though? I do, at least for quite some time, considering that Mr. Trump is the one candidate that is out there literally fighting back. He's the only one being attacked, in this case by corporate America, which is something that he's running on. Being in business himself, I think this Macy's incident is quite telling, Neil. I mean, it's like the veil has been lifted because in Macy's statement, they simply say we are a corporation of diversity and inclusion. So is, now, is Macy's now saying that they don't want the supporters of Trump to shop in their stores? Are they saying that? Well, I think what they're saying is they didn't appreciate. I hear you. They, they didn't appreciate what he said about uh, Mexicans and whether a lot of the illegals coming over here are rapists and you know the whole nine yards. But I. I well, yeah, but a lot of people is, agree with him. Uh, well. Uh, uh, you might be right, but but Probably I am shoppers saying, at Macy's. but the, you know Macy's is a brand trying to protect its brand, and it doesn't want to be deemed to be. You know how these companies get. But I will say that in Iowa, between Ben Carson and Donald Trump, uh, two unelected guys uh, without any political experience are generating about a, you know a, a fifth to a quarter of of the support early on. Though it is, that's quite telling. What do you make of that? Well, it is telling, and I think it's a huge message to the party. I mean, we have now gone through a couple of election cycles where the grassroots have been very active and engaged in primaries. And time and time again, candidates have made promises that they didn't keep. You have elected leaders right now on the Republican side who have essentially given Obama everything, including this horrible trade deal that's also going to hurt jobs and manufacturing in this country, and people are tired of it. They see Carson and Trump as two men from relatively different backgrounds and paradigms succeed in this country because during that time America was so great without this overreach in government and they want to see that happen again for their children and grandchildren and so they come across as genuine to people. Do you worry though and, and if, if you're for these outside the petri dish type uh, politicians or they're not politicians that's why they're outside the petri dish uh, right. that they're short-lived love affairs in other words look at Herman Cain look at Ross Perot different cases same drill what do you make of that? Well, I think policy matters, and I think once we get to the debates and the people can see all the candidates side by side talking about what they believe in and what they stand for, and particularly with Trump, people have a pretty good idea of what he stands for. The reason why his negatives are so high is because people aren't quite taking him seriously yet. But I think once we get to the debates, the cream is going to rise to the to the top, and I really don't think the establishment is understanding the sentiment of the American people well, out there. Well, I think I'll tell you, they're, they're just uh, right. They're confusing the messenger for the message, and they might not like right. the messenger, uh, but they certainly the message is resonating. We'll see how long, Katrina. Absolutely. It's always good seeing you. Have a safe fourth. All right. Thank Great you. Great to be here. Thank you.